Judith Provincial will talk about taking the pulse of stars and how astronomers can listen to the stars, learn about their nature, their history, and the history of the Milky Way. This is what we've done to our sky around here. This is a picture taken from a satellite during, as it passed overhead. There's hardly any dark sky around here anymore. You, this is what the sky really looks like if you go someplace that's dark. You could see with just your eyes, you see about 6,000 stars and the glow from the Milky Way. The stars that I study, they're called white dwarfs. White dwarf is a dead star. 95% of all stars are going to become these white dwarf stars at the end of their evolution. And so the best way to learn about what's going on in stars, learn about what's going on in the history of the Milky Way, is to go look in the stellar graveyard. Go dig around in there and find out what's going on with these white dwarf stars. Astroseismology is studying the interior structure of a star as revealed by its global oscillations. So if you look at the stars and you, you observe them long enough to determine the frequencies that the stars are pulsating at, then you can get a better picture of what's going on inside the star. So what we need for that is a bunch of telescopes and a lot of observations and a lot of fancy cameras. The whole Earth telescope is something that I got involved in when I was in graduate school. So we started with Texas here when I was back in graduate school. And then you pass the star over to a telescope in Hawaii. They keep observing it. You pass it all around the world. So you try to continuously observe the star 24 hours a day as long as you can. So if anyone ever tells you that we know everything about stars, you just say, hmm, no, we don't. We don't at all. 